It's about time. Don't go away. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Fat Guy Productions. I am Paul, coming to you, as always, from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. And indeed, it's about time. The whole video is about time. Let me explain something before we get too deep into things. This is going to be part one of a two-part series. Part one is going to be unboxing first look. Part two is going to be the actual project. Because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building our own watch. That's right. There is a company called DIY Watch Company. And um, DIY Watch Club, sorry. Um, but why my nose is so itchy. Maybe I got a bug in it or something. Vampire egg. Okay, anyhow, let's get back focused again. All right. <laughs> so there's a company called DIY Watch Club. They send you a kit to make your own watch. You go on their website, you pick out the watch that you love. There are some beautiful, beautiful watches available of, of many different styles. And you buy the watch. They send you the watch components for you to put together along with all the tools and everything you need and I have a set right here, okay? So, um, yeah, I'm really excited about this. It's going to be, uh, 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 let, let, let me clarify, excited and nervous. Excited and nervous, okay? I am nervous. I'm, I'm a little nervous. I'll tell you why. Look, putting the watch together, I, I figure that's a no-brainer. I think that should be easy for me. Um, it's the kind of stuff I do. But... Putting the watch hands on this is a pretty delicate operation. And um, you can break the hands. The hands can be like this. Okay, so like they're, they're, they're like this. So when they're spinning, they... And it doesn't go around, okay? So not only do you have to get the watch hands on without breaking them... You have to seat each one to the proper depth. And the watch kit that I have has an extra hand in it. And so um, now Watch Club sends you uh, extra hands. You can buy extra hands if you need them. They're, they're very implicit in the instructions on how to do this. There are all sorts of videos on how to do that. Uh, and they send you all the tools that you need to do it. And so... That's what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at my DIY Watch Club kit and see what we have. All right, so let's get to work. All right, so this is the kit that you get. Now, I bought the upgraded kit, okay? You can get a cheaper, smaller setup. Still comes with all the tools you need. Um, but... It's not as fancy schmancy. I wanted to see what the really nice setup looked like, so I ordered that. And, uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to see today. This is, I guess we could call this the top end version of their kit. So, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of excited about this. And I guess in a way, I'm sort of becoming a watch guy. I have my Apple Watch Ultra here. I have my Apple Watch 8. I'm going to have this watch. I've got my uh, my Swiss Firefighters watch, which uh, I'll show you a picture of right here so you can see it. Uh, and I have this old um, uh, vintage watch, this dress watch. And, uh, you know, so I'm, I'm thinking of, of making use of all of them again. Uh, you know, I kind of stopped using anything after I started with the Apple Watch. And I realized I don't really need to. I can, I can mix and match based on what I'm doing. Uh, and I learned that because of the Apple Watch Ultra. Because um, it, it's a way I can continue to use the uh, Apple Watch 8. You know, so, you know, hey... 
I guess I'm becoming a watch guy. I guess that's a whole thing. I guess there are people who collect watches. They have big displays of them and stuff, and they have these these boxes that rotate and keep your uh, movement uh, activated uh, watches wound. You know, because a, a lot of these watches, by you moving, that's how they wind. You don't have to wind it. All right. So so far so good. It's it's packaged. To survive shipping, and in these this day and age, that's that's a big deal because I'll tell you, FedEx and UPS are really dropping the ball. Okay, so here it is. Uh, the outer box is is beat pretty good. Again, I I can't put that on DIY Watch Club. Um, I put that on the shipper who which was uh, FedEx. All right, so this is the first box. This is the entire kit, okay? What this is, this is an upgrade thing, and I'll show you that later, okay? So let's get into this. You know, but like I said, it, it looks nice. It's just damaged on every single corner. I, I guess maybe it needed to be put in an outer box rather than just a padded, but hey, it is what it is. All right. Woo! Look at that. Wow, that's not, that's high end stuff. Oh, it's, it opens immediately. So. Okay, just lift. Wow, look at this. Okay, is there anything else in there? No. Okay, so I guess this is the outer box, and I guess it doesn't really matter because let me throw it right away. This. Here, my friends. Okay. So, strike one. My uh, beautiful fall leather bound box with the embossed DIY watch club. It looks like it's supposed to latch shut, but it won't. Yeah, so strike one. Okay, DIY Watch Club. I want a new box. I want one that works. I'll be letting you know that. I spent a lot to have this extra case. And this won't latch shut. Disappointing start. All right? I just, I'm still hopeful. But, hey, I, you know, this, this is unacceptable. I want a new box. All right. So anyhow, we open it up, and it's it's fabulous inside. This is all felty kind of feeling DIY Watch Club in Boston uh, silver. It's really nice, but it still bothers the tar out of me that my box is damaged. All right. Let's see what we have here. We got a booklet, black on black. It's an envelope, actually. Your DIY journey starts here. Open this up. Welcome to the club. Your journey started. Discount card. A Diver Series watch with the welcome. Register your diver series, and then this one's in Japanese or whatever. Okay, so we got that. Okay, all right. It's really, really nice. But I'm sorry, I'm just really hung up on, on the fact that this is damaged. That could be from the shipping, okay? You saw how the box looked. This was getting jostled around pretty hard. And so maybe that damaged this. I don't know. All right, there it is. There's everything that comes with my set. All right, we'll start just taking this stuff out a piece at a time, starting right here, with a nice rubbery band. It's got the uh, like a little trigger type thing, spring loaded 
to connect the band to the case. Pretty nice. It's very heavy duty. Good looking. Okay. Over here is a. Uh, this is a special tool for setting the hands. All right. And you take it and you kind of go oop, and push down on the hands. That's what that is. This is a little tiny ring. Can you even see that? Can you see that? No, I got an idea. No, I'm not going to. Okay. What else? Okay. This is the bezel. I think this is called the Batman. It's uh, half black, half blue. Okay. Let me get that out. Okay, this, my friends, is, this is the watch, okay, this is the guts, okay, see that little spinny thingy, that is the thing that keeps your watch wound and running, so as you're wearing it, it is constantly moving and winding your watch, all right, so this is, they call it the TMI time module, all right, what is this? box this is really nice okay and and that makes this latch all the more egregious that this is this nice and then uh you have know, something like that happen See, this was kind of squished in there. That's why it didn't come out very well. All right, it's little envelopes. Okay, and that's strike two. I don't know what those are, but I don't want to mess with them right now. It might be the watch hands. But, okay, that wasn't packaged right. For what I paid for this, that... This should not have happened, okay? All right. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe after I get to building... I I'm sure none of this is going to interfere with the experience. But still... All right. This is... Uh, a collection of cleaning cloths, finger cots, some sticky stuff, uh, a little protector. Okay. This is a, a little padded element that you set on your table here, and then you work on the watch on that. It's to help protect the, the watch itself. This is a tool for uh, opening the back of cases, all right? You screw it until it fits in the little grooves, and you, and you give it a twist, all right? There is a little air bulb for blowing away lint and or dust. This is a loop, a jeweler's loop, and um, it is wow, that's pretty good. It's to magnify what you're doing, and it's got this little clippy thing here, so that you can somehow clip this to your glasses. But I have no idea how you're supposed to clip that to your glasses. 
Uh, let's get back to trying to get this out. Well, here, we can do it this way then. I'm trying not to touch the crystal or anything. There we go. Woo! Okay. Wow, that's pretty. Okay, that is pretty. Look at that, that brushed stainless finish. There's your uh, crown. The, the glass back, so you can see the movement. Wow, that, that's, that's hot. That's gonna be a nice watch. Okay, so you got to make sure you take these things out because there's hidden surprises underneath. All right, so we have a series of tools. This now is a toolbox that doesn't latch shut. Yeah, I'm still hung up on that. Okay, here we have a really nice set of tweezers. Very pointy. Be careful with those so I don't tweak them. Uh, this, this is just like a, a skewer, I believe. I think this whole thing comes out, it does. You grab this little tab. And this will lift up and out. I don't need that. Okay. Here we have a set of little tools. There's a little flathead screwdriver. This is, a, I believe that's for setting arms, uh, watch arms. This is a smaller one for probably like the second hand. This is um, a little tool for like if you need to get the uh, uh, a hand off, you can get underneath it and kind of pop it off. And then uh, I don't want to get this out of here because so I can get to the last one. This is uh, another one of those. I'm not entirely sure what the difference is. They look really, really the same. They're they're very nice quality. What is this? This is a little uh is this a knife of some kind? You know what this might be for? For uh, the watches that don't unscrew in the back, they have a pop-off case. This might be for getting under there and going and and lifting that off. But I don't think it needs to be in that plastic thing, so we're going to take that out. And, and last but not least, yeah, this is just a like a wooden a skewer so that you can do different maneuvers without risking damage. It does do damage. Okay, let's put this over here for a second because there's more I think maybe there's something under here is a bunch of stuff under here actually Does this come out no that does not come out okay this is more tools a lot more stuff Okay, this is a, a different thing for holding your jeweler's loop. I think it goes around your head. I think this wraps around your head, around your noggin, and holds your jeweler's loop in place. 
This is a little packet of something. Okay, here is a another tool. Ooh, what the happened there? That was weird. It's a, it just spins so easy, it startled me. It's just a little screwdriver, okay? Really nice. What is this? Oh, okay, I know what this is. I know what this is. So what they did, this was pretty ingenious and a nice little touch. This is an iPhone stand or a phone stand. Um, and you unfold it like so. And then you put, put it like this and set your phone in here. And then you can use it and have it sitting right here while you're doing your watch project. And you can watch the videos and follow along with your phone sitting right there. I don't know what this is. See, this is so right up my alley. I love stuff like this. The, the problem is, much like, oh, oh, I, I bet I know what this is. I think this is uh, the little kinds of pins that you need for, for bands and stuff. I think this is a packet of those. Can you see them? Yeah, it's like uh I don't know. I don't know what it is. Uh but this is right up my alley. I love this kind of stuff. Huh. Okay, another little tool of some type. Okay, I think that's it. All right. I guess this could go in in the bottom now. And this could go in up top now. That could go back in there. Oh, I see why I can't do that. Because I probably want to keep this stuff in its spots until I need them so I don't damage it. But, okay, so where does that leave us? I, I know. I know. I, I know. Everything seems to be of the highest order, okay? This, I, I'm, I'm fully anticipating this watch being spectacular. I really am. But a couple things disappointed me. As you were able to see. Couple things disappointed me. 
my little box is so nice, it should not be damaged. All right? It just shouldn't be. And uh, I forgot what else. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm, I'm excited about this. And so I'm, I'm not with the program. Let's see what these are. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I, I paid a lot for this, and I realize, you know, once it's in the hands of the shipper, there's not a lot they can do about certain aspects, but knowing that, I think they would take additional steps to make sure that this gets to you without it being damaged. Um, let's do this. Okay. See? Oh, that makes me so so upset. Now. Everything that I saw in inside the case looks to be top quality. Okay, here's the the face of the watch. Okay. Felt very heavy. Hands. Okay. There's hands. This hand was almost damaged. You can see it's right at the end of this plastic that is folded over. That would have been a sad thing. But there are two of them. You know, and I, I know stuffing this inside that little cardboard tube must be a difficult task, but it should be right. That looks like somebody was trying to get this one done before the quitting bell went off. And they just wanted to knock it off before they got out of there. And so I don't like that. It's not a big deal. I'm not asking DIY Watch Club to do anything about that, except maybe improve their quality control. But I want a new box. And here's more hands. Okay. So all of these little packets are... Look at all these hands. Jesus, one, two... Okay, well, there's... You saw there, there's a set in there, and a set here that's two, three. There's four hands in this damn thing. There's how fragile and looking that second hand is. Oh my goodness, what have I gotten myself into? Oh my goodness, you know I I get into these little projects like this because it s seems like something right up my alley, and you've seen me work with a uh, with photo et stuff. When it's that small and that delicate, I don't generally have the best success rate. So there is an element of this that has me worried. <laughs> so I don't mind saying. Okay, so uh, let's say that. Okay, let's open this up because this is a an add-on that I purchased. This is a nice little thing.
Uh, let me ask you something. Do you guys watch Jerry Rig Everything? Do you watch him at all? Uh, it's where I bought this knife. This is his uh, uh, Jerry Rig Everything razor knife. And he uses these exclusively in his videos. And then sells them, of course. And I bought one just because it seemed like fun. Um, but I'll tell you, here's the thing. He's a master of this thing. I don't know how he has not severed a thumb or a finger yet, but he hasn't. <laughs> Me, I'm still a little nervous with that thing. Okay. All right. This is, this is pretty neat. I know what this is. It's something extra that I specifically ordered. little extra thingy. Okay. Let's open this first. I think it's a tool. I think I ordered an extra tool. Although it looks like I didn't really need to because it looks like they sent me every tool they really offer. But, yeah, this is just another one of their little screwdrivers. And uh, I probably didn't need to order this. But, Super nice. These are really nice, these little micro tools. Okay. So, yeah, that's all that is. It's just a tool. Look at all this tape on me. Put that on the bottom. Get off me. All right. This is, this is what I really ordered. This is what I really wanted. Just like a box of air. Okay, here we go. And I'll get pictures of this kind of stuff. So that you can... See, I should sure open it from the other side where there's a little thumb cut out for that. I didn't know that. Oh, well, there we go. Okay. Let me make sure. See, that was done right. Okay, beautiful. All right. Remember I showed you... In the mechanism, the, the little uh, counterbalance weight that spins around in the back to keep your watch wound. Well, that's what this is, except this is an enhanced one. And it's laser in, engraved and says Fat Guy Productions on it. I don't think you're going to be able to see that like this. I'm going to take it out of the package. I'm going to grab my phone. I'm going to take a picture of it, and then I'll put it back. That's why I ordered this tool. It was a tool specifically for changing this out. So. There we go. That's good. That's cool. That's cool. So not only am I building my own watch, I'm customizing my own watch. It's going to say Fat Guy Productions uh, through that glass back there. Um, I got to tell you, very exciting, very exciting, very exciting. All right, so let's uh, put all this away, and then we can just chitty chat a little bit here. Um, yes. I'm a little disappointed that my box is damaged. Sorry, I just am. I paid a lot for this. And I even bought the, I bought the upgraded kit. Because even if you don't buy the upgraded kit, uh, it's still expensive. Okay? This is not cheap. By any stretch of the imagination, this is not cheap. And... Um, you know, then I, I added into my expense 
So, uh, you know, for that kind of money, you expect the product to be, well, perfect. And it wasn't. My box is damaged. And, you know, it, it won't latch. Okay? They're getting an email from me today. So, then there was the sloppiness of this. Now, I admit, trying to stick a stack of these with little components in between each one and then trying to get them to go nicely into this box. See, I can already see I'm already having a hard time doing that. Okay? Then you got to close the box up around it without damaging that. Okay? So I can see that that would be difficult to do. But it should be right. It should be right. It should not be this. So those are the two negatives so far. Positives. Everything seems of the highest quality inside the box. And it has me very, very excited for putting this watch together and hopeful that I can do it without screwing it up. So what's going to happen is we're going to say goodbye. I'm going to build the watch in a whole separate video and we'll give a, a final thought at that point. But for right now, so far, so good. I, I mean, let's, let's be honest. I'm being a little bit of a nitpicky jerk complaining about the box like this. But, hey, that, so be it. That's, that's how it is. Um, the rest of it seems magnificent, and I can't wait to build this watch. And so far, so good. All right, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a giant thumbs up. Click subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss one of my watch videos. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear them, especially about what you saw here today. Okay, that's going to do it for today. I'm going to get to work on this watch. Um, but for you, I hope the rest of your day is stupendously amazing. Okay, I'm out of here. Until next time, this is Paul from Fat Guy Productions saying, be good.